Welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Audrey and I am here to help you organize your life. I haven't uploaded in so long on this channel and I have been putting off cleaning out my son's closet, my teenage son's closet, and it is disgusting. And I told myself, you have to get it done before February. So I was like, it's gonna happen. So that's what you're gonna see on this video. So stay tuned for that. You guys, this room, oh Lord, baby Jesus. I'm gonna, I'm gonna show you. It's actually not that messy, but it's mostly the closet. I mean, Andy keeps his room somewhat organized. I mean, look at his desk, it's not too bad. But well, let me just tell you. This closet, oh Lord, baby Jesus. It has so much, so much I gotta get rid of. This is this half, but I'll move the guitars out of the way and show you the other half because the other half is the real problem. I told Andy to kind of clean up a little bit. Obviously he didn't do the greatest job, but he did do some of it already, but. I think like 90% of this I gotta get rid of. <laughs> so like always, the very first thing I do for all my projects is I completely empty it out. I just don't know where I'm gonna put it. Don't mind Benny, he's having a conniption. But I think I'm gonna put it in the hallway for now. I have to do this in sections because I don't have a big place to put everything, but this section is gonna be first. It's so disgusting and so dirty. You guys can't even see how dirty it is, but this is what happens when your kids are kind of pack rats. I have to go through it because he'll just like let it pile up. So I'm gonna deep clean this with the solution I always use. I'm gonna vacuum it out, all that jazz. So I finished washing the closets, but then I realized how dirty the doors are. They are absolutely, and then he covers this up. Nice try, Andy, nice try. But you guys, look how dirty this door is. So I have to go make more cleaner because this cleaner, this water is already like disgusting. I need to refresh to show this because this is gonna be oddly satisfying when I clean it. <laughs> I think I'm gonna get this in real time so you guys can see how clean it's gonna become and make me so happy. Because, like, these are the kinds of things that I find joy in. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that grime. Completely gone. That is so satisfying. <laughs> You guys, let's just do a side by side. That's the side I cleaned. That's the side I haven't cleaned yet. That's how disgusting they were. Oh my God. I have my work cut out for me and I'm glad I'm only doing one closet at a time because this feels daunting. <laughs> don't usually go in with a magic eraser unless it's like crayon or paint I can't get off. So I'm gonna try it and see if it works. It looks like it's kind of coming off. Oh, there it goes. Just takes a while. But the only problem with this is it also takes off the door paint. So, but I wanted to get those crayon marks off. There's a bunch of them. <laughs> I got the doors mostly clean, the front, the bedroom door and these two. So I'm gonna start putting some of the posters back and figuring out how I'm gonna organize it. So 
So I'm gonna bring this into the closet. This is actually a dresser that used to be Joe's because we used to do the Monday through Friday drawers for school, but we don't really do that anymore. So I am going to put it in Annie's closet for like socks, underwear, pants, things like that. So this is the stuff that I need to go through that is just from the one side <laughs> of his closet. Like I think the clothes are all fine except for probably some costumes we need to get rid of. But a lot of this stuff he doesn't even use. Like these electronics, he has new earphones. He doesn't even use these. I don't know why he's holding on to them. And just so much junk that I need to go through. But it's very overwhelming. A lot of books he doesn't use anymore. I mean, he doesn't use any of these Nerf guns anymore. I don't know if the boys want to keep keep them for sentimental reasons because they have a billion of them. I don't know. So I'm going to start bringing in some clothes. I did bring in that basket right there, but I'm going to also bring in some clothes to hang up. You guys, I think my kids are too spoiled. <laughs> I was going through all the Nerf guns and I was like, well, I better not get rid of any because I wanna make sure I ask Andy first, but cleaning this out was terrible. Oh my God. All right, guys, this is day two of the project, and we left off with this closet being completely pretty much done, except for I bought another basket to go there, and I'm going to start the other side. So something I've noticed doing this project is I used to have bins from the Dollar Tree like this, but they were so small compared to these ones from Walmart. And I think these ones from Walmart are like $4.99, Maybe they're $6.99, I can't remember, but for the size, they fit so much more. And I just feel like it looks really clean and organized and the red bins kind of look cluttered. So I like the way it looks. All the baskets are done. I will label everything, but I'm gonna wait till I finish the other side of the closet. I don't think these doors are as dirty, but they're still dirty. You see that? They're still dirty, but not as dirty. So maybe this side won't take as long because there's not clothes to I mean, there's costumes in those bins, but a lot of the stuff in here I am gonna get rid of. Just, I'm not getting rid of the hats or the baseball stuff, but yeah, it won't take as long. All right, it is empty. You see how freaking dirty it is. It was just as bad in the other side, like, the walls are even cobwebs, like cobwebs galore. So we're gonna give this a full wash down. First I'm gonna vacuum, then I'm gonna scrub the walls with my bleach and tide combination solution. Surprisingly, this actually isn't that bad because a lot of it's already organized. So I'm just gonna pull all the bins out and organize them into the white baskets. <laughs> So this was like the last detail I added because I wanted to hang up those flags somewhere. He used to have them hanging in his room. I like how it turned out. I had to put some of Joe's stuff in here too. Like this is Joe's suitcase. And like these hats are Joe's hats and these hats are Andy's hats. But when he gets home, I need to ask him what hats he still wants to keep because I have a whole pile. And those are their Taekwondo bags. Wow, it makes a huge difference. <laughs> happy about it. All right, guys, day three is starting to look a lot better. I mean, everything's pretty much done except for I'm cleaning the rug today. 
this rug needs deep clean. When I use my carpet cleaner, I do use the solution that it comes with because we do have issues with Benny going pee on things. I don't know if he's peed on the rug in Andy's room, but I absolutely love my carpet cleaner. You fill the water line to here and the formula to here, and then you're good to go. I will link my carpet cleaner in the description. I absolutely love my carpet cleaner. Per personally, my favorite part of this carpet cleaner is it has a tank for clean water and a tank for dirty water. And you guys will see how dirty this water is gonna be after I start this rug. <laughs> but this is the before. We'll see how much it brightens up. <laughs> You guys want to see the first round of water? Look at this. That's the first round of water. Is that nasty or what? <laughs> That's disgusting. <laughs> Y'all, I'm gonna show you this water. Oh, that is nasty, bro. That is so nasty. Oh, that's nasty. not even that old. This is the second pass. So the water's a little cleaner, but this is the second pass. Oh boy. So this is the official after and just the smell alone in here is fabulous compared to when I first started. <laughs> All right. So the last thing on this project I'm going to do like I always do is I'm going to label everything because I haven't labeled everything yet. All right, I am finished. So in here we got Pokemon cards, some prop guns, some prop hats, some, some plushies. We got comic books in this one. We got video games in this one. We got baseball stuff in this one. We got baseball cards in this one. We got the suitcases over there. Also the other guitar. We got hats. We got the Taekwondo bags. I'm gonna buy a shoe bin to hang on the door. So, I like how that's hanging over. Okay. We got like all his Nerf guns. We also have a couple, a prop gun that he got on his DC trip and some swords. Dirty clothes, all their clothes, belts. The top one right here, we have workout clothes. We have books, a train set, like memories, like yearbooks and things like that. And like things from baseball that he did and just memories and also scripts from shows he did. This is like a sleeping bag and some Dragon Ball Z figures and like a drawing pad. So yeah, it looks really, really good. But like I said, I'm still gonna get a shoe bin, I think for the door. But yeah, I'm really happy with how it turned out. I wanna say that the very biggest thing on organizing is making sure you clean out the area first, like completely empty out the area so that you don't bring back things you don't need. That's why I don't like do it in sections. I empty out the entire area. And that's honestly the first advice I give to anybody. Empty out the area completely to the bare nothing. Second, clean the area. I use a combination of Tide powder and bleach and I scrub the walls, I vacuum, I mop the floor, I do all the things. I think my very favorite part of this project was how I used the two flags that he had I wanted to incorporate them in the closet somehow to kind of separate the two areas. One side would be Joe's, one side would be Andy's. And I love the, how it turned out. I, that's my favorite part of all, how the hats are in the middle and then the two flags. I think it looks super cute. Andy absolutely loves it. He's like, mom, it's so clean. I love it. <laughs> I also deep cleaned his room as you guys saw in this video because it was disgusting. You know, teenagers, they do not clean that good. Like I tell him, it's your responsibility to keep your room clean, but it always stinks and it's always dirty. And I'm like, you need to vacuum your room. He doesn't listen. So I told him, I'm like, I will deep clean it because I can't stand looking at it anymore. And I'm going to deep clean the closet. 
and we're going to label everything. And I told him like, please make your bed every day. <laughs> He's like, but mom, I'm just a slob. That's who I am. <laughs> Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. I really enjoy making organization and cleaning videos because this is like my love language. I love, love, love the before and after. It just makes me feel so good to have it done and have it clean and have it organized. I will be working on my craft closet downstairs. I will be working on my pantry because my pantry is now a disaster again. I did organize it not that long ago, but it really needs to be redone. And a couple other things, so you guys will have to stay tuned for that. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you hit that like button, also subscribe, and hit that bell for notifications. If you have any comments or questions, please leave them down below, and I will really appreciate it.